Yo, what is up, guys? It's Paige here. So we got some Amari Cooper news, and we also got the Ron Rivera press conference to talk about. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get into it. So Kevin Sheehan reported that the Redskins will most likely target Austin Hooper, Kenyon Drake, and Amari Cooper. And so I'll read the whole thing. The Redskins think they're capable of a quick one-year turnaround with plenty of cap space. They'll be aggressive in free HC. Austin Hooper, Kenyon Drake, and Amari Cooper among potential targets if they reach free agency. Um, Austin Hooper is confirmed reaching free agency. He already talked about it on his Instagram, I think, or Twitter. I can't remember which. I think it was Instagram. And he said that he's leaving the Falcons because they don't want him. So that's already confirmed. And Amari Cooper, I think he will reach free agency. I just think the Cowboys are going to do whatever they can to re-sign him. But if we can take a player away from the Cowboys – and bring him to our squad, that would be good. I do like Amari, but I think we have other needs and paying him top dollar. He is a better player at his position than Austin Hooper is, definitely. But Austin Hooper is much more valuable because if you look at our three receivers right now on the Redskins, you got Trey, or not Trey Quinn, he's a backup. Uh, Steven Sims, Terry McLaurin, and Kelvin Harmon versus... Our tight ends are Jeremy Sprinkle and Hale Henches. You had a true number one receiver there in Terry McLaurin and a decent number two receiver. And if Kelvin Harmon started last year, he would have probably gotten 300, 400 yards, which is still not great, but it's not terrible. And he's going to have a full year in the offseason to develop. So that might – he's still decent. Obviously, we want someone better, but we can live with him. We cannot play another season with Jeremy Sprinkle as our best tight end. So that's why I think Austin Hooper is more valuable. I want to stay away from Kenyon Drake because I do think he's going to demand not a ton of money, but a decent amount. And I don't think we need to invest money in a running back yet. We already have a above average back in Adrian Peterson, above average starting back in Adrian Peterson. If we have a good old line, he can get up almost a thousand yards, maybe even a thousand yards the next season. And We'll see it. We got Darius Geis and Bryce Love. If healthy, they should be good. So I don't think we need Kenyon Drake at all. Amari Cooper's up for debate. That's the one I really want. I'm interested for you guys to uh, tell me in the comments if you guys do like Amari Cooper or not because he's going to demand a lot of money. He's going to demand a lot of money. I think he's going to – I don't think he's going to be top paid receiver in the NFL because Michael Thomas got a lot of money. But I do think he's going to demand a lot. So I do not think it's a good idea to go after him. I think if we can get him for a decent uh, price, I think it would be good. But that's not going to happen. So I would stay. Uh, I would say stay away unless you can get him for a reasonable price. So here I just pulled up. Michael Thomas is about twenty million dollars a year. So that means Amari Cooper is going to want, in my opinion, I think he's going to want at least 15 mil. So there's no way we're paying 15 million. And that's probably minimum for Amari Cooper. So I think we got to stay away from Amari Cooper, get Austin Hooper at like 11 mil, and go from there. So that's it about the free agency targets. I'll talk about, now I'm going to be talking about the Ron Rivera press conference. If you guys did not know, he did say they're going to be meeting with Tua Tagovailoa and Joe Burrow. So I'll, I'll read what he said. So Ron Rivera says meeting with Burrow and Tua is not just due diligence. They're real meetings. Rivera likes Dwayne Haskins, but that's all options are on the table. This, in my opinion, is a smokescreen. I, obviously, there is a chance that we draft Tua, but or Joe Burrow, but that chance is below 5%. And it's really, and the only reason there's a chance is because we have a new head coach and our quarterback didn't play amazing, but he didn't play terrible. So very little chance, but he's meeting him, seeing about his medicals. He also wants to know the value of the player there. If they were to trade away, the value of the player they're trading away. And also they want to know how how much they're going to get for him. And also, they want to kind of tell teams that maybe 
get teams to think that they're actually going to draft Tua or Joe Burrow so give them some leverage so teams might actually give them more to go to number two because if Miami wants Joe Burrow or not Joe Burrow if Miami wants Tua but we're think we're saying we're drafting Tua we're drafting Tua then they're going to give us like three first round picks a second and maybe another second because they really want their guy and if we say we're getting their guy then they're going to give us as much as they want as much as possible for us to give them that pick so they can get their guy so that's what i think is going on right there i think there, these comments are purposely being said by ron rivera doug williams to motivate dwayne haskins to get more work done to get a lot of work done in the offseason to try to get him to be a better quarterback so i'll read some other things so Ron Rivera says he likes guys that can play multiple positions. Could bode well for Ryan Anderson in the new 4-3 scheme. I like that. I think Ryan Anderson played really good last season at the end, the tail end of the season, when he was really starting. And he played a better role. And 4-3, man, this guy's going to be amazing. He's going to be able to, he's going to be more of a rotational guy because he is more of a pass rusher. So instead of – because last year, we obviously, we had three people rushing most of the time. Now we'll have an extra person – and we will probably have Chase Young, but Ryan Anderson will still be able to do it. And he can play uh, outside linebacker sometimes and go into coverage instead of just rushing the passer. And then so Rivera believes that Redskins can replace Josh Norman with the young corners in the roster. I think someone else reported, I think Craig Hoffman said that he said that he likes a couple fourth rounders on the team. And one of those fourth rounders is former fourth round pick Fabian Moreau, who struggled at times last year, but at the end when he was on the outside, I think he had three picks, something like that. He wasn't used right, very skilled, just isn't, like I said, wasn't used right in the right scheme. And I think hopefully Jack Del Rio and, and um, Ron Rivera can help him get to a solid starting cornerback level. Um, and then also Rivera making his strongest positive comments about Dwayne Haskins today, but still nothing, uh, get, not, not giving him the position. Ron Rivera said about Trent Williams, nothing is, or everything is something he said. Oh yeah, this is what it is. Ron Rivera says things are a work in progress with Trent Williams. And I think what that means is they're just trying to get the money down. They're really, they really need to get the contract negotiation. I don't know if they're doing if they're doing an extension or if they're trying to if they're trying to just give them more guarantees that's i don't know about that so yeah tell me what you guys think about this he also talked a little about ron rivera talked about making your strength stronger so chase if you saw that picture chase young he looked he looked huge oh that's i just I'm adamant right now on getting Chase, drafting Chase Young with that number two pick. Nothing else. Only way, like I said in the last video, to not get him at number two is if we get some uh, huge offer, like three or four first round picks and a second. And that's not going to happen unless Miami falls in love with Tua, which JP Finley said that is definitely possible. Also, Something else uh, really small is that he said that he likes people that can play different positions. And Ryan, or not Ryan Anderson, Isaiah Simmons can play like three. He, he plays safety, linebacker, can rush the pass, or plays all outside linebacker, outside linebacker, middle linebacker, and inside linebacker. And he also plays safety. So he plays a bunch of positions. So if we were to trade back, I think I think Ron Rivera would be interested in drafting him. But that's really the only players. I think if we trade back, the players that we would be looking to get is Jeff Okuda. If, say, we get two first round, extra first-round picks this year, right, or at least one extra first-round pick. So we get Jeff Okuda and maybe Isaiah Simmons. Depends on how far one of those two – then maybe a tackle, and with that second round pick, maybe get a tight end, depending on free agency. Everything depends on free agency, guys. If we strike out on free agency, then trading back seems like a better idea. But if we get 
Austin Hooper, James Bradbury, and we re-sign Flowers and Sheriff, then we really don't need to trade back. We just get our D-line even stronger, get Chase Young the best player in the draft. Thank you guys for watching. I know this is a little longer, but thanks for the support, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, just tell me what you guys think about Ron Rivera talking about Dwayne Haskins today. Do you think they are actually serious about getting a quarterback? And yeah, let me know about the Mari Cooper thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.